Hello, I am Heather Vinay, principal of Kennerdale High School. I am pleased to welcome our incoming freshman class, the class of 2025. Parents and guardians, we appreciate you taking the time to assist your student and learn more about the great things that are happening at Kennerdale High School. With me today are my two assistant principals, Mr. Brindle and Mr. Mulder. We would like to start the presentation off by showing you a video of the day in the life of Kennerdale. There are many differences between the high school versus the middle school. It is important to remember that credits begin to accumulate as soon as students transition to KD. Students must receive 26 credits in order to graduate from Kennerdale. The workload is heavier and more rigorous as students engage in seven classes per day. Our goal is to prepare your student for the workforce, post-secondary education, or the military. We have so many wonderful opportunities, academically as well as extracurricular. Throughout this presentation, you and your student will learn about them. Mr. Mulder will now share some of our expectations and opportunities. Hello, this is Mr. Mulder, and I am one of the assistant principals here at Kennerdale. I would like to go over some of the behavioral expectations we have for all of the students here at Kennerdale. When speaking with many freshmen, students have told me how much more they enjoy the high school experience over the experience at the middle school. This has absolutely nothing to do with the teachers at the middle school, but has everything to do with the freedom students enjoy at the high school level. Greater freedom means greater responsibility. 
At times, I have to meet with students who struggle with the new freedoms that they have at KD. I often remind them we have rules to maintain a respectful and safe environment for everyone. Students who become disrespectful or make the environment unsafe receive the supports they both need and deserve. While at the high school, you will have the opportunity to continue on the same path as before or start with a clean slate. You have the ability to make a positive difference in your life as well as in the lives of others. You will find that there are many caring adult staff members who are willing to help you succeed. Please be sure to seek them out and allow them to help you. One final point about our behavioral expectations is that all students will be accountable to the Code of Conduct and the Student Handbook. You will be held to this standard, so it is in your best interest to read and occasionally review these expectations. Your Kinderdale experience can also be enhanced through becoming an active participant in student life. Research proves that students who involve themselves in activities outside of the classroom have higher grades and have a better attitude towards school. As you can see, there are many activities ranging from academic to recreational to music and drama, and they are all different opportunities for each and every one of our students. Please consider becoming a part of one or more of these extracurricular experiences as a way to enhance your educational experience. In a few moments, Dr. McCallicker, our athletic director, will provide you with even more opportunities in the area of our school sports teams. At this time, Mrs. Vinay will share information regarding our Rams team and our Rams reward program. We are thrilled to have supports in place for our freshman class to set them up for success. Our peer mentors are part of our Rams team program that work with the freshmen throughout the school year. This program starts before the school year begins in August to familiarize students with the school and give them an opportunity to work with upperclassmen to build healthy relationships. Another program is our RAM Rewards. This is a school-wide positive behavior initiative designed to encourage a cohesive and productive school community. Students are nominated by their teachers for the great things they do throughout the day and are rewarded by having the opportunity to win gift cards each week when names are pulled randomly over the morning announcements. As you can see from the screen, there are many local places where students may get a gift card. At this time, Dr. McCallicker, our athletic director, will share information about our sports teams. Hello, incoming ninth grade students at the uh, Southeastern Middle School and parents. My name is Dr. Gary McCallicker. I'm the athletic director for the high school and also I oversee all the sports programs for the middle school as well. Um, I've been a member of the Southeastern School District for 12 years. It's been a great, outstanding uh, 12 years. And in that time, we've done a lot to grow our program uh, to make more um, programs available to our athletes. And we're very proud of that. Uh, one thing that I'm sure you're hearing that's a common theme is uh, people from the high school encouraging you to get involved in athletics or clubs or performing arts. And we have great programs here, um, not just sports programs, but our performing arts program, our music program are outstanding, um, especially for a school that, that's our size. We offer a lot of opportunities. So, you know, there's, there's academic research out there or anecdotally, we can just say that, you know, if you, if you take the time to get involved um, in your school, your freshman year, through sports, music, theater, um, you know, we can we can st say with a pretty high degree of certainty that you're going to have a better experience the, the four years that you're here. Um, you're going to have a, a chance to develop um, stronger relationships with your peer groups. Uh, you're going to be more engaged. You have a better sense of school and community pride. Um, you're going to learn better time management skills, and also it's going to help you know, different aspects of your brain and your body, um, you know, mature, you know, uh, the impact of athletic participation or, or music or, or just being involved and stretching yourself mentally uh, is going to do wonders for your development as a, as a person. So 
Um, just looking at the, the, the staff of the athletic department, it's really just four people. Um, I'm the director of athletics, and then we have a, a secretary, Ms. Holly Eaton, and then we have two athletic trainers from, we, we borrow from Wellspan, uh, Ms. Alex Miller, Miller and Mr. Chong Choi. And, you know, the tra athletic trainers are there for you, uh, it, you know, when you're participating in a, in a sports program and, you know, you would get injured or, you know, you, you want to do some preventative stuff, they're, they are there to work with your coaches and your parents and, and they'll check you out whenever, whenever is needed. If you look at our options, as you can see, we have much more extensive options during uh, the fall, winter, and spring seasons than you're used to. At the middle school, we just we kind of open up a little bit, and we have a lot more sports uh, for males and females. Uh, and then, if you you know if you're not necessarily interested in playing a sport, but you want to be involved in a sport, uh, we we always need managers uh, to help with our sports. And that you kind of you'll tackle the administrate you'll help with the administrative end of the sports team, but you also get the benefits of the um, being involved with that with that group, uh, the peer interaction, uh, the cohesion, um, all those things. So one thing that we pride ourselves on is, is having a, a lot of multi-sport athletes. Um, you know, if you're an athlete right now or the parent of an athlete, I'm, I'm sure you're aware of the concept of sports specialization. Um, and we try to discourage that as much as possible. Mostly the reason why we discourage it is because of the uh, psychological and physiological factors that come with early sports specialization. But also as an athletic program, um, we rely heavily upon our athletes playing more than one sport. You know, we're, we're a fairly small school um, with as many sports as the very large schools. So the only thing that we generally don't have that other schools have is swimming. We don't have a pool, otherwise we would. Um, but you know, we need we need our athletes to play multiple sports, and we encourage that because you know, for their physiological and their psychological development, um, it pr it's proven that you know it, it helps them be better in everything if they if they uh, play multiple sports. So all of our information is listed on the athletic homepage. Uh, when you get on the homepage, you'll see that we have a space for coaches, we have a space for parents, we have a space for students, we have a space for community and fans. And, um, and there you should find everything you need as far as you know, what it takes to participate. Uh, you'll have to submit a participation packet prior to the school year. Um, and I'm, I'm generally pretty good about sending emails out to parents uh, via the, the school messenger system uh, to let you know when, you know, the packet can be downloaded or, or when it's due or, or what available um, sports are coming up for your son or daughter. And you can always, parents can always reach out with questions uh, to me personally or my secretary. Um, our schedules are found online. Uh, there's, you can see the website, www.arbiterlive.com. Uh, those schedules are, are always update, updated in real time. But I would say that um, the schedule for the season doesn't really become official till about three or four weeks before the season starts, because a lot of things change, you know, um, game times or official availability or just various nuances to scheduling that may occur right before the season. So um, that's, that would be the time to check on that about three to four weeks before the start of the season. And then we also have a Twitter handle that we use to highlight um, our athletes or our teams uh, during the sports season. So always feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Look forward to seeing you um, next fall. And I am sure we will be in better circumstances than we are right now. And, um, and, I, and I just, I, I know that if you take the time to get involved with your school in some way, shape or form, whether it be, you know, like we said, music, performing arts, athletics, you're gonna have a great time here at Kennerdale for the next four years. So thank you. Thank you, Dr. McCallacher. As you can see on the screen, the class of 2025 needs the following credits to graduate. On the left-hand side of the screen are the requirements for the freshmen. I cannot stress enough the importance of accumulating credits and setting yourself up for success means doing well right from the start of the year. Failure of a course leads to repeating a course, and this can impact your date of graduation. Mrs. Lloyd, the English department chair, will share some important information. 
Hi, my name is Mrs. Lloyd and I'm one of the ninth grade English teachers. Here you can see all the teachers that make up the English department um, and you can see that between Miss Grove and myself, uh, we are the two ninth grade English teachers, so you will see one of us in your English class next year. You have three choices in terms of an academic level for your ninth grade English class. You will take English 9 either at the honors level, the college prep level, or the applied level. The honors level is our most rigorous course. It does require passing an entrance exam, which will be done in school. Um, normally, I go over to the middle school to give this exam, um, which is an essay, and that will occur sometime in the spring. There is also summer work required with the honors course, um, and that will be distributed at the end of the school year, also by me um, when I come over to the middle school again. The college prep class is also a challenging course. It does go at a slightly slower pace than the honors level, um, but it does still require significant amounts of reading and writing, and there is homework of both of those items on a regular basis. The applied level does a little bit more um, concentrated study, focusing on basic reading comprehension and basic writing skills. Um, there may be some homework, um, but within classwork, there is a lot of practice and a lot of attention um, on reading and writing. In the English department, ninth graders have the option to take a couple of different electives. One of our electives that you can take as a freshman is Journalism one which really is going to focus on the how-to of newspaper writing. Um, and it is a very different style of writing than what you are used to in your English classes. So it's an interesting concept to learn a new way of writing, um, but to be prepared for this course, you need to understand that it is going to be a lot of writing. Media production is another elective that ninth graders can take. Um, and this is the course that also incorporates our TV station, KRAM TV. This course is going to focus on the how-to of media production. So you will learn things such as camera operation, script writing, lighting, audio production. Um, and you will participate daily in the morning announcements, which are aired every day in the high school, as well as on our Armstrong Cable Channel on KRAM TV. And the third elective that freshmen can take is drama. Drama focuses on foundational acting skills, the history of theater, and reading and analyzing plays. Um, attendance at or participation in KD Dramatic Productions is a requirement for this course. For social studies, all ninth graders will take U.S. Studies II. Their only choice involves the academic level that they will choose, which is honors, college prep, or applied. Your eighth grade teachers and guidance counselors do a great job in placing students in the appropriate levels. Hello and welcome to the mathematics department. Um, on the screen you will see your mathematics teacher that you may have. Um, here in the mathematics department uh, we all teach freshmen. So depending on what your eighth grade teacher um, and you decide for your course next year you may have any one of the teachers next year. If you are currently in Math 8, uh, most likely you will be advancing either to Algebra 1 CP or Algebra 1 A. Um, your teacher will help you make the best decision for the course. Um, we do have an algebra keystone exam that's required for graduation, so it's really important to work closely with your current teacher to decide which course is appropriate. If you are in algebra connections, a passing grade will move you to geometry CP or geometry honors. Um, so again, your eighth grade teacher will help you make the correct decision as to whether an honors level course is appropriate or not. Here in Southeastern School District, we do Algebra 1, Geometry, then Algebra 2. So if you happen to be in Geometry, you will be taking Algebra 2 as a freshman. Um, I can't stress enough the importance of working with your current 8th grade teacher to make the best decision for next year. 
Um, I look forward to working with you guys, and if there's additional questions, um, by all means, feel free to reach out to me, uh, Rick Meinl. I am the chair of the mathematics department. Thanks, and I look forward to a great year. Hi, I'm Mrs. Whiteford. I am the science department chairperson, here to talk to you about your student selection in science for grade nine. The listing here is of all the teachers. Uh, in yellow are our grade nine teachers. Um, and in grade nine, science is required for one credit. So that means one course of science is required in grade nine. Your choice for that ninth grade assignment uh, for that required course is integrated science. Um, you can have it at three different levels. We have the honors level, the college prep, and the applied level. They do have what we call prerequisites. Um, so you need to follow that eighth grade science teacher recommendation to determine what level course is appropriate for your student. For the four years that your student is here at Kennedale, they will be required four total credits of science. So grade nine is that integrated science, grade 10 is biology, grade 11 is a selection between chemistry and physics, and the fourth credit is an elective choice that they can start in grade nine or they can take it in grade 10, 11, or 12. So we can do what we call double up in science and they can take more than one science course each year. The elective that they might want to choose for ninth grade in addition to the integrated science requirement is natural resource management and agriculture. Um, the agricultural teacher will talk more about that, but this course does count as a science elective to meet graduation requirements, and it is open to ninth grade students. The biggest information I can tell you, the biggest advice I can tell you for your ninth grade student is to individualize their schedule. Uh, have your student know their interest, explore new areas, uh, start looking at their future, what courses do I want to take in 11th and 12th grade, and make those plans now in ninth grade. Keep in mind, in ninth grade, students will not necessarily be assigned with their friends all day long. So try not to pick courses based upon what our friends take, uh, but pick courses about your interest and where you want to be four years from now. Thank you. Please contact me with any questions um, through either email or phone. I'd be happy to help. And contact your guidance counselors. My name is Ms. Harris, and I'm so excited to talk with you about the awesome Agriculture Education Department here at the high school. The Ag Ed Department provides a wide array of fun, hands-on courses. Agriculture includes food, fiber, natural resources, and the environment. As a freshman, you can take Introduction to Natural Resource Management and Agriculture. This course focuses on aquatics, forestry, wildlife, energy, and agriculture. There are several labs, including tree measurements, skull identification, deer aging, yellow perch dissection, starfish dissection, and constructing a model rocket. This two-semester science credit will allow you to double up on a science as a freshman and set you up for a wild array of other courses we offer. Mr. Traeger and myself teach all of these Ag Ed classes. As you complete classes from this list, you are essentially completing a tech program like at York Tech. If you take three courses or more, you can possibly graduate with a certification in the area of production agriculture, which is another great thing to put on your resume for college or your future career. When you take any of the courses from the last slide, you automatically are given a membership to the FFA. This is an intracurricular organization that focuses on leadership, personal growth, and career success in agriculture. A common misconception is that this is only for farmers or people that want to become farmers. More than half of our members do not live on a farm, and I didn't grow up on one either. We do a ton of fun activities like livestock judging, public speaking, wildlife identification, vet skills, community service, college trips, conferences, and we get to travel a lot. Check out the details for each ag course in your course handbook. I hope to see your name on my roster soon. I'm here to present Practical Arts Department, and the Practical Arts Department is the application of knowledge using hands-on activities. The two areas I'm presenting is technology education and family and consumer science. Um, there are two uh, technology education teachers, uh, 
Mr. Waldemeyer and myself, Mr. Stauffer, and between the two of us, we teach wood, metal, drift, and drafting. Um, the only course that's available in tech ed for the students to take in ninth grade is Foundations of Tech. It's a survey course where students will, uh, it's a semester course, and students will learn to make projects in each of the tech ed areas, metal, wood, and drafting. Um, it counts towards a technology credit, which everyone needs to graduate. In the family and consumer science area is Mrs. Angler. Um, she's the only family consumer science teacher we have. Uh, and the two courses that freshmen could take are family life, which is a course that is based on family life, family characteristic, roles and relationships and love, understanding sexuality, uh, parenting, divorce and remarries, and handling crisis. Uh, it is a discussion-based course. And the one that most students wind up taking is family, in family and consumer science is general foods. It's a food course that you learn how to make and handle food safely. And you need this so that you can take upper level food courses when you um, are in 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. You learn cooking uh, and kitchen equipment. You learn four steps in food safety, reading recipes, food labels, nutrients and other things like that. It's basically a continuation of what Mrs. Hafer presently teaches. This is the health and phys ed department. Here are all the people in the department. You have the uh, opportunity to choose three different classes as an incoming freshman. One of your choices would be regular physical education. Here we are focusing on team sports, lifetime activities such as badminton or golf, fitness components are assessed, and we also do cooperative activities. Besides physical education, you may also choose one of our elective classes, CrossFit, which is the sport of fitness. It's an intense activity program designed to improve your physical fitness levels through a bunch of different movements. We do Olympic lifts, gymnastics, running, Pretty much every class is in the weight room or outside. You may also choose speed, agility, and quickness. This class focuses on improving those elements involved with athletes. It's a great class if you're an athlete to improve your performance on your field of play. And also you may choose as an elective sports performance. Every one of these classes meet in the weight room and geared towards improving your fitness levels, mostly strength and explosiveness. Another great class for athletes if they are preparing for competitions. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mrs. Bastian and along with Mr. Walton and Mr. Bastian, we would like to um, welcome you to the art department and invite you to consider taking electives in our department. For next school year, our Art 1 course is open to freshman students. This course is a foundation level course where you are able to experience a various number of art mediums, including acrylic paint and clay. This course will also help you determine what future art courses you would like to take. As you can see, we offer many additional painting, drawing, and studio based art courses to 10th, and 12th grade, 10th through 12th graders. We also offer various opportunities within the school year for art exhibitions. We hold a, a district art show in the spring and offer art club and National Art Honor Society as additional art opportunities for our students. Hi, I'm Mr. Barr. I'm one of the music teachers here at Kennedale High School along with Mrs. Baldwin, Ms. Best, and Mr. Crayley. Next year as a freshman, you can take courses such as Digital Music Production 1 and 2. And this is really for everyone. No experience is necessary. It's hands-on music making with computers and other digital music making equipment. And if you thought you wanted to be a music producer or just have an interest in making music, this is again a hands-on course designed for everyone to be successful. Another hands-on music course is music production techniques. That's a hands-on stagecraft course. You can do things like learn how to run a soundboard, a lightboard, and participate in our school's plays and musicals. Any band course or orchestra students, this year we have been offering all of those things safely, even in the COVID era, and we will continue to do so next year at Kennerdale. 
Anyone can sign up for Chorus, and Ms. Best and Mr. Barr will help current band and orchestra members sign up for the right course. And we'll talk with you during your ensemble time. We look forward to seeing you in music classes. Hello and uh, welcome to the World Languages presentation. Here at uh, Kennerdale we offer French, German, and Spanish for your language choices. Uh, reasons to study a second language uh, here at uh, Kennerdale, they're the most interesting and fun classes that you can take. Uh, also, uh, for your job, generally uh, uh, looking at what you're going to earn over your lifetime. Uh, people say, and, and research has shown, that people that speak more than one language will earn well over $100,000 in their lifetime uh, in America. More than 50% of companies generally uh, re look at or uh, might even require language skills when they're looking to hire for positions. Uh, we're looking at colleges, uh, studying a foreign language will improve your college acceptance rate and students that study a language for four years, the research has shown that you're scoring over 100 points higher on your SATs, so that gets you in, into better colleges and can uh, result in better opportunities to get scholarships and things like that. Uh, and most colleges today are requiring the uh, successful completion of at least two years of a second language, and several have more, uh, more than that that they're going to require. At uh, Kennerdale, we offer levels 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 in our three different languages. In French, we also offer the University of Pittsburgh French 5 class, which you can take for three college credits, uh, which can be transferred either to Pitt or to any other uh, college that you might be attending. Uh, we also offer here at uh, Kennerdale uh, World Language Honor Societies. So there's a French National Honor Society, a Spanish National Honor Honor Society and a German National Honor Society. We also offer World Language Club, uh, which can do fun activities generally uh, once or uh, twice a month. And uh, also, all of our students have the opportunity to travel to other countries. Uh, generally, uh, every year or every other year, we offer that. Uh, so that's a little bit of information about our foreign language uh, offerings here at Canada. Business education at Kennerdale High School is broken up into two sections, one being computer science and the other being business. Computer science courses for ninth graders include web design, robotics one, video game design, and Python through the University of Pittsburgh. Web design is an introductory semester-long course in which students learn HTML, CSS, and layout. Robotics one is an introductory course that is a semester long. Students utilize VEX V5 robots to solve problems in areas including programming, engineering, and math. The course can be followed up in their 10th or 12th grade years with Robotics 2 and Robotics Club. Video game design is a semester-long course for students with little or no programming experience. The course utilizes JavaScript as its main programming tool. Students program games for use in the browser. Python programming is offered in conjunction with the University of Pittsburgh. This full year course allows students to earn up to three college credits. It is recommended for students intending to major in computer science. The course entails procedural and object oriented programming. It is suggested that students have a strong math background and have taken at least Algebra 1. Introduction to Business is a half-credit course 
In this course, students will explore topics including economics, entrepreneurship, globalization, marketing, and business management. Throughout the semester, students will identify possible career choices and obtain basic business principles needed in the workplace. Kennerdale still recognizes the importance of Microsoft Office in the workplace. We offer two courses, Microsoft PowerPoint and Publisher, and the second being Microsoft Word and Excel. In Microsoft PowerPoint and Publisher, students will develop their presentation and publication design skills. Students will create, edit, and enhance presentations with graphics and video. Students will also learn to create flyers, advertisements, brochures, and newsletters using Publisher. In Microsoft Word and Excel, another half-year course, students will learn the necessary word processing and spreadsheet skills to succeed in college and the workplace. Students will edit and enhance Word documents with pictures, borders, symbols, and shapes. With Microsoft Excel, students will be able to create spreadsheets and charts Students will develop charts to help in the decision-making process. Accounting is a four-year course and is intended for students attending college for a business degree or any entry-level position in any business field. The course will go through basic accounting procedures used to operate a business. It will identify general journal and posting bank reconciliations and worksheets. The last course students have an opportunity to take would be digital marketing. It is a half credit course. Students will develop integrated online and visual marketing strategies, including social media. Students will also learn how to measure digital marketing campaigns. Kennerdale hosts a chapter of the Future Business Leaders of America, also known as the FBLA. The FBLA allows students to showcase their skills at the local, state, and national levels. Students also go on field trips to local businesses. From time to time, you may need to see our school counselors in the guidance office. Mrs. Hurley, Mrs. Marburger, and Ms. Randall are our school counselors and will be more than willing to help you throughout your time at KD. The counselors alphabetically divide our students in two groups. This means that you will have the same counselor for your time here at KD. Mrs. Marburger works with students with the last names A through G, Ms. Randall works with students with the last names H through PL, and Ms. Hurley works with students with the last names PO through Z. Your counselor will be able to assist you with your course planning, planning for life after high school, as well as any potential struggles you may encounter along the way. You will notice Mrs. Absher is our guidance office secretary. She plans to retire at the end of the year, so there will be a new face to greet you in our counseling office next year. There are many others in our building who are willing to support you in various ways. Mrs. Lakin is our school psychologist. Ms. McLucas is our gifted support teacher. Mrs. Wojcik is our secondary school social services coordinator. And many of you are familiar with our school resource officer, Detective Blaze who is with the Southern Regional Police Force. We also want you to be safe and healthy while you are in our building. Our health room staff will be able to assist you with all of your medical needs. Mrs. Stratmeyer, our current school nurse, will be retiring at the end of the year, so we will have another new face here at the high school for the 2021-2022 school year. Mrs. Hostler, our nurse's paraprofessional, will also be able to help you with any of your medical care needs while you are in the building. At this time, Mr. Brindle will briefly go over next steps, and additional services here at KD. Beyond grade 9, students have a variety of academic opportunities that await them, such as opportunities for advanced placement courses in all core subjects and some electives, college in the classroom through University of Pittsburgh and Harrisburg Area Community College, better known as HACC, dual enrollment, with universities and colleges outside of Kennerdale High School, and the opportunity to explore internships, externships, or be a part of Kennerdale High School's work program. Multi-Tiered Systems of Support, or MTSS, is a standards-aligned comprehensive school improvement framework for enhancing academic, behavioral, and social-emotional outcomes for all students. Our goal here at Kennerdale High School is to support each of our students on their path to success. We do this through 
a cross-disciplinary team comprised of KDHS teachers, school counselors, social worker, school nurse, and administrators who use a problem-solving process to integrate evidence-based academic, behavioral, and social-emotional practices matched to student needs. A continuum of supports and services that are based on high-quality professional learning, cultural responsivity, and partnership and meaningful involvement with families. A team approach to decision-making that rests on the use of reliable and valid school and district data sources. The SESD Online Academy is our district-based, anytime, anywhere, cyber learning model that allows students to complete their work at their convenience within the designated work week. SESD Online Academy students in grades 9 through 12 work in the Odysseyware learning platform with Southeastern School District teachers and the Southeastern School District curriculum. Students have continued access to their school counselor and other support services through their respective brick and mortar home building. Students can participate fully in extracurricular activities and district athletic events, as well as school dances, student organizations, and other brick and mortar home building specific events. Find out more information by clicking on the link. This will take you to the SESD Online Academy website. We have provided you with a lot of information regarding your students' transition from middle school into high school. Please take note of these next steps as your student begins the scheduling process for high school. Review the course catalog linked here for course descriptions and suggested curricular progressions. Freshman course selection sheets will be distributed at the end of January. Current teachers will recommend appropriate levels for core courses. Remember, individual strengths, talents, and interests should dictate course choices, not your friends. Look ahead and think about future courses and prerequisites. Discuss options with family, teachers, and school counselors. Remember, classes are locked once schedules are created. We hope this presentation was helpful. Please feel free to work with your school counselor if you have any questions. We are looking forward to the class of 2025 joining the KD family. We wish you and your family a safe and wonderful rest of the school year.